Hey everybody, we are just um, starting here a few minutes, one minute early. <laughs> mm. Woohoo, that's pretty early. Um, just to get the, the things rolling and um, we'll wait for a little bit for people to gather in the hall, <laughs> on the sofa, in your kitchen chair, wherever you might find yourselves tonight and in fact if you want to uh, put a little shout out in the chat where you are sitting tonight I'm sitting um, well I'm standing in our studio at our home in Northwest Wisconsin just to hop across the bridge to Duluth Minnesota and um, it's Paul and I here in the North Woods so hello everybody we'll be starting in just a little bit it's good to Good to see you. Good to see you here tonight. I see Stacia's in the house. <laughs> um, I, I can even uh, see some chats here coming. Sh Sharon, Cindy, Stacia, Geraldo. All right, there's going to be lots of you coming in. I probably won't be able to say everyone's name. So I'm going to gather my guitar. While you all um, share with each other where you're, where you're hailing from, and if you're, um, I don't know, have any uh, thing else you want to share on that chat while we're getting ready, <laughs> you're in the hall outside the concert chatting with each other. Okay. Home in a blustery Minneapolis, Worcester, Massachusetts. Uh, let's see, I'm not going to be, things are going quick here. Michigan. Where else are we hailing from? Uh, lovely to see everyone coming here tonight. <laughs> awesome. Well, I uh, wanted to start with a song an old, old song. I mean, an old, old song of mine. It's not that old, given humans writing songs, but um, an old song of mine. Since it's harvest time and all the gathering in of things from the gardens, I wanted to start off tonight with my mother's garden. So welcome everybody to an evening of song and mishaps. <laughs> She grows flowers, lilies and lavender, sweet peas and roses, marigolds, geraniums. On her hands and knees, digging in our yard, making smooth the rougher soil and soft from the heart. And as I grew, I knew you needed rainy days and sunshine to make the flowers grow. Dirty hands and much time, spring and summer, fall and winter snow. And somehow we are always able to find our way to the kitchen table where we dine. My mother has a garden 
she grows flowers, Mary Catherine, Beth Louise, Sarah Marguerite, Erica Marie. On her hands and knees, digging in her yard, making smooth the roughest soil and soft from the heart. And as I grew, I knew you needed rainy days and sunshine to make the flowers grow. Dirty hands and much time, spring and summer, fall and winter snow. And somehow we are always able to find our way to the kitchen table where we die. Macaroni and Mary My mother has a garden I know I've shared this story, but I'll share it again. Um, that my, when I first wrote that song, this was like, you know, when I first started writing songs, I'd written the song, I Hate My Roommate in college, and then I wrote my Mother's Garden song shortly thereafter. <laughs> um, only one stuck around. I mean, only one song stuck around. And I really actually had a, a good relationship with my roommate. It was in jest. Um, but the Mother's Garden song I sang for my mother, and uh, the first draft, her first, you know, comment was, I don't grow those flowers in my garden. <laughs> so I quickly did some songwriting, editing, and the song that you just heard, she grows all of those flowers in her gardens. Isn't that right, Mom? Maybe? Still? <laughs> so I want to welcome to the stage my sweet adorable sweet dear. pea that's another sweet flower pea. my sweet pea um paul is here tonight and uh we're gonna sing for you okay yeah so um i had told people to like say hello where they're coming from oh my mother says gracias gracias <laughs> See, we can. This is so much better. We can see. Um, we can see you Sarah all. Sarah has some new platforms. She's <laughs> excited about this evening, if that's what you call them. Platforms. Well, Streaming thingies. This, yeah. So. I figured out how you can. We're on YouTube. If you know folks that you know ha have a hard time or aren't on Facebook, you can be watching tonight either from my YouTube channel or from my Facebook page. So, um, yeah. Or from the couch right here. <laughs> so, thinking a lot um, about family during this time of hunkering in, and um, the cold is, at least where we live, the cold is coming in, and you have to spend more time with family because you can't escape outside. <laughs> <laughs> but feeling a lot of gratitude for the end of this um, gardening and harvest year, and so we wanted to. We wanted to sing this song of gratitude, Rhapsody of Rest. The sun. <laughs> Sorry. Let's start over. I had a little hiccup. Okay. <clears throat> It is the You're sun. Rusty. It is it's the been a while. It's been a while. Been you know, while. our last right. concert was May. <laughs> I mean, I've sung since May. We've sung since May. But online, this is the last one. Is it the sun that rises first? It's right here. Okay, the sun know. is rising in the east. <laughs> Barbara sometimes, and I. Sometimes have I forget the directions. Candies. Yes. <laughs> here we go. I'm so thankful for me, Paula. <laughs> The 
sun is rising in the east And the feathered flutes begin Trilling in the trees And I sing to love Sing to give love Sing to hold love Sing to be loved In the morning Thank you, thank you In the evening Thank you, thank you In the middle of the day Thank you, thank you In the deep, dark Sun is shining in the south, and I breathe you in, and I breathe you out, and I breathe in love. Breathe out to give love, breathe in to hold love, breathe out to be loved. Sun is setting in the west, and the birds begin to sing their rhapsody of rest. And I rest in love, rest to give love, rest to hold love, rest to be love in the morning. And I sing to love, sing to give love, sing to hold love, sing to be loved, breathe in love, breathe out to give love, breathe in to hold love, breathe out to be loved. Deep, dark, and cold. Yes, what's it going to be tonight? It's in the single digits tonight. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I know. Nine degrees. Yes. Nine degrees. Um, is that Fahrenheit? Correct. Yeah, okay. Just thought we should let, make sure we let people know. <laughs> um, mm. So. Thank you, Helter. <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stacia, I knew you'd be singing along with that. This is really great. We can see people I know people we can here. see the... That's usually great. we have to, like, you know, do the concert and then go sit on the couch afterward to see what people were saying. <laughs> we still will have to do that because we can't catch... 
catch them. I'm going to catch everything. But, um, so but what's your theme tonight, Sarah? Theme? Theme. Um, theme is, um, the theme is, well, I thought I would focus in a little bit on, I don't know, family. Okay. But with that song, just um, thinking about family, I want to widen the idea of it because that song was written for um, uh, our dear, well, written, <laughs> kind of came out of our connection with our family sister of the heart, um, Rabbi Amy Bernstein of the Three Altos. And the, her cantor, Haim, um, commissioned that song for... Um, a new song for Shabbat. So, so thinking of family is also our family of um, family that we've created around us, our friends, um, and family that gets us through. Sisters of the heart, brothers of the heart. Um, yeah. Do you have anything to say about that? Is that a theme? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to yeah. share a song. That's uh, that I wrote actually about my father's father, so my grandpa, um, John Thompson. What's your sister's name? My sister of the heart that I was just talking about. Oh, yeah, Amy Bernstein. Amy Bernstein. I mean, there's others. Yeah. There's certainly many that others. That song but was Amy. Amy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. lots of sisters Amy's connected. of the heart. Yes, many, um, many watching. Y'all, right. y'all. Let's sing. Okay, should we sing? Yes. Yeah. No more talking. Until later. So, Amber Stone um, is a song uh, that came from spending time where my dad came from in um, in Denmark. We met his relatives. They took us to the ocean shore where my grandpa would have seen as a young young man and said, "If you're lucky, you'll find Amber Stone." And I think of the Amber Stone being. It's the fossilized resin of millions of year old trees. And if we thought about that in terms of family, how if we go back millions and millions of years, we are all on one family tree. So, um, Amberstone. My father's father left home. Bidding family farewell, the tears fell at the door, leaving all that he loved, the sea and the shore. There are things you can't hold, but the heart always carries, that can only be told through the tales of fairies to the oldness of old. Lift the glass high Till we all meet again by and by And over the years came the letters in his sister's hand In a language his wife and four sons Understand, but Grandpa could read them and smile and cry and dream. That one day his sister Matilda again he will see. There are things you can't hold, but the heart always carries. The through the tales of fairies, to the voices of old, to the young and the merry, lift the glass high.
one sea. Shells there are plenty to find and to keep. And if you're lucky, you may find amber store to tuck in your pocket and carry home. some amber stone right See, on our rings on our rings from my cousin in Denmark the amber is mm -hmm. yeah we um, have a little bit of shared uh, amber stonage <laughs> and a uh, um, and a what's that other one called the agate from the shores of Lake Superior is the other little stone in here um, <laughs> I, uh, that grandfather, um, my grandpa John, who we just sang about, um, was born the same year that my childhood home was built, 108. And uh, I was thinking about that when, so, what, 1903. So how old would, how would that be? 114, right? If I'm doing my math right? So I thought I would do... Um, Sing my song 108, uh, which is about that's the address of my home. My parents lived in there 46 years, and um, of course, us kids left home and left them to be empty nesters for a while. But it was always that place to come home to. And uh, um, my parents moved out of it on you know j just a few years ago, and that's why the song was written. But I wanted, I, I um, started writing 108 days. For 108 days, I have this little goal for myself of writing 108 days about my mother's garden and the house it knew. Um, and so I'm going to read you day 66 from, from this little collection that's um, in all in draft form. But this is a little poem called well, it doesn't really have a title. I'm just going to read it. My mother's garden. My father's workshop. He didn't have a tidy one. Her garden spilled over and all around, which was not tidy either. They met in the middle. He carried the garden hose. She handed him the needed tool. He filled her bird feeders. She filled his plate. Together they whittled 108. Together their gardens grew us. So, 
on that little gardening note. Um, here's my song to my to a house. Sometimes places and spaces are uh, we hold a lot of gratitude for them for how they held us. y'all want to put a shout in the in the chat of um, a space or place whether it's the number or a, um, that's special to you it's fun to hear mm -hmm. what is that number if everyone were to say <laughs> it might not be a number maybe it's a just a location an area mm -hmm. a rock by a river <laughs> so those spaces that hold us and those people that hold us, I um, wanted to, um, <laughs> what you laughing about? The oh, there's a bunch of numbers. Yeah, Look crazy. at that. Yeah. <laughs> when did you harvest from the garden this year? What? Yeah, where were you? Was it Cora what or Singale? when? <laughs> yeah, um, anyway. Yeah. Lots. Lots of stuff was still coming in because we didn't have the frost until mid-October, mm -hmm. and it usually is mid-September, so. Still putting up tomatoes and peppers. Yeah, hot peppers. Hot peppers! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, we had a quite the tomato and pepper mm. year. 
Um, and we we um, want to also kind of call into the into the concert hall here um, the ancestors, those who have gone before us. Um, we're going to sing this song, "Oh Grandmother," but maybe you'll think of an, a grandfather or a elder, uh, an elder, a um, someone who's whether family or you know just someone who has carried you through by knowing of their existence, you know, but who's no longer with us. So, oh grandmother, um, calling to them to say. Would you sing us a song? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh. Heltzer, I would give a number, but it's my password to everything. You're not supposed to do that, Kathy. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like being it's got, it's a little closer to being in the concert hall because you're distracted yeah, by the audience right. a little bit yeah, yeah. okay yeah. so um <laughs> okay quiet town mm -hmm. To the room, the young That's ones. Sweet. Nice to see people. So yeah. Someone asked about my arm. I will oh, share. Oh yeah. Will you share so, a little bit about your yeah. arm? Yeah. So I had Paul's a little surgery from a. Um, I was showing off 50 years ago on a <laughs> horse, 
<laughs> and um, broke my elbow. So um, 50 years later, they're scraping and reattaching and unkinking hoses or something. But That was the metaphor that, were, yeah. Yeah. They, so anyway, four different places they went in, and hopefully I will have a little bit increased mobility after with better technology. I'm technology hopeful. in your arm? No, I just Like mean, bionic? No, 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 no. Not yet. Okay. No, hmm. just meaning, you know, 50 years ago, what was possible? I don't know. But you weren't even born 50 years ago yet, really? <laughs> You're giving anyway, away your age. I was very young, yeah, yeah. No, I think I was seven. <laughs> I could be wrong, but, but that's what's going on, so I'm hopeful. What were you doing? How'd you break your arm, Paula? I fell off a horse. Oh, did you say that? Showing off, oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I should have listened. Anyway. <laughs> Most um, of my injuries are horse-related. Really? Mm-hmm. Most of mine are like, I got a chisel injury, <laughs> holding a hand rule the wrong way. Hmm. Anyway. Oh. So. Okay, well, thank you, Paul. Sarah's been doing all the dishes for a month and two weeks and to go. I hope the healing happens fast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thanks for It's good for, for me. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, the ancestors, and now we want to um, sing a song for for all the young the young folks, mm -hmm. and um, may they know how beautiful they are. Um, and especially thinking tonight of those those young ones who uh, have passed on. Uh, too early, and um, particular, I want to give a shout out for Joy, um, uh, Sharon, Sharon, your grandson, um, and how even if they're no longer with us, they are still, they're still a shining star um, in that midnight sky. So, for for the youth, may they know they are beautiful. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We love you. <clears throat> so, um, <sighs> what to sing about? And in these days. Hmm. your 
story now Where is your gaze? I want to sing about In these days <clears throat> so uh, I don't need to to say much um, about what just uh, the verdict that just came down in Wisconsin um, we've all been probably sharing and um, hearing lots of stories about it. I just did want to um, hold it up tonight a little bit and sing sing a song um, with a prayer that uh, um, this, what I was thinking about was this idea of, of, of self-defense and how um, what self-defense matters, thinking of um, women in, in jail who have um, acted in self-defense um, in abusive situations, thinking of everyone at the Black Lives Matters um, marches, not only in Kenosha, but around the country this past summer were acting in, in self-defense. Um, and so really the, the uh, verdict that we should, I know, um, talking with my friends, many just outraged, how could this verdict have been what it was? But really, um, others, especially my, um, when I hear from folks of color that were not surprised by the verdict, um, because in actuality, the, they were, it was legal. So the problem is really the, the laws of this country that we, many of them that we need to change. So um, we got to keep working on that ship. We may never sail on and ring the bells. Um, we still can ring. As Leonard Cohen would say in this song. <laughs> Oops, Paula. Um, technical difficulties. The birds they sang at the break of day start again. I heard them say, Don't dwell on what has passed away or what is yet to be. The wars, they will be fought again The holy dove, she will be caught again Bought and sold and bought again The dove is never free Ring the bells that still can ring Forget your perfect offering is a crack, a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. We ask for signs, the signs were sent, the birth betrayed, the marriage spent.
on everybody making this a just world for everyone people say to me
Okay, Paula says um, a couple of things. Oh yeah, <laughs> Paula's over here on the, on the other couch texting me. Okay, so <laughs> her little note said, um, mention the tip jar. Yes, um, where is it? If anybody, no, I can't find it here. I think you have to go online. So there is a tip jar on my website if you want to give a um, contribution for these live concerts. We are starting up again, so we have tonight's concert. Um, and the link is um, just the home page of my website, if anybody wants to put it in the chat. It's that um, sarahthompson.com, and on that front page is a tip jar, and it you can do PayPal, Venmo. You can write me a letter, <laughs> so it shows all those different ways, if you wish. And on that same website is where you can find my music, recordings, and um, all that. So uh, tip jar, and then also she said there's been a couple requests. Okay, um, I see. Well, we could we could probably handle that, huh? We got time. Um, yeah, so I see there was a request for Irene Marguerite since we're in the um, singing songs about beloved ones. So this this um, is a tribute to my great Aunt Irene Marguerite, Sarah Marguerite, singing for you. And um, to all those whose shoulders we stand upon, I learned a new thing about my Aunt Irene from my mother. So doing these writings have been great because I'm learning all sorts of things. When I read the um, my reflection to mom and she tells me all these other stories, I didn't know my Aunt Irene. Um, so I was her great niece. All us great nieces spent time on her farm. But first it was my mother and her sister, my Aunt Mary, who spent summers on my Aunt Irene's farm. And one of the tasks they were given was to trim the hollyhocks in the fall, you know, with all the dead head, you know, or the seed heads, take them out into the ditches by their farm and hope, in hopes that they would be growing in the ditches. She did get them growing in the ditches. And I loved, I just love that image of my Aunt Irene, who was more like, as you'll hear in the song, the tasks were do the laundry, get the food from the garden, da da da. Um, so knowing that she also gave these chores to my mother and Aunt Mary, it probably informed their lives that they were instructed to put hollyhock seeds in the ditches. So here's my Aunt Irene, the hollyhock spreader. <laughs> well, that's not, that's a different song. Hmm, how does Aunt Irene go?
was making meals and I spent summers on your farm Like my mother when she was young and every nephew, every niece We were your children and we didn't fool around Not till all the work was done Washing clothes, planting peas, picking mulberries off the trees and Introduced us all around Walking up the street and down Met near all the folks in town Oh, good night, Irene, Marguerite Oh, the angels, they will carry you To that sweet hereafter Good night, Irene, Marguerite Oh, the angels, they Tyrene, for my Aunt Irene. Um, did you send me any more texts, Paula? Pardon? Did you send me any more texts no. I should look at? Okay. <laughs> well, I think we should perhaps do that other request that you saw, and then um, we had a few more that we wanted to close out our um, evening with here in a little bit. We don't want to keep you up too late, I'm sure. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> you all need to get some good rest for the nine degree cold. Well, well only, the only the people, people that around are here. around yeah. here. Yeah. So, um, are you cold? Is yeah, it, did the chilly. heat turn itself no, down? Again? It's fine. I checked oh, it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, need the last four digits of Sarah's phone number to tip by Venmo. Really? Oh, I suppose. Oh. Is that right? Um, the, okay, it's, what is it? <laughs> 9557. 
Oh, yeah, I suppose if you have to verify that it's really me or something. Yeah, 9557. You want to write that in? Oh. Or someone Where can. Where do I write? 9557. Can someone put 9557? Which is, is not Ven any password. It's no. not any <laughs> password. It's just the last. If you're doing Venmo and you need the last four numbers, it's 9557. I'm trying to get my sparkles to show. There. Yeah, yeah, and then the little, your little, um, what do you call it, sling. Okay. Well, um, one of the requests was to do Holy Angels tonight, so sending this one out to um, everyone who needs to be held and who isn't that person. So, but especially those who might be going through uh, struggles right now. Send, send this like out. To send this yeah. out to Deb Cooper and family. Yeah. Yeah. We would like to, um, yep, yeah, send it to Deb and family. We, we, um, we miss, we miss Joel. And to send it to, um, Sharon's family again, who lost her grandson, Joy. Uh, so, Joy's mom. And all, all the many, many who loved, who loved him. So, you know, if you wanna send this out to anybody that you might <coughs> might want to tonight. Should we say something about December? Yes. Our winter so, um, concert? Mm -hmm. you, you go. Well, I yeah. just want to say that I had this vision of, after I retired, um, that we could tour our Winter Wanderings <laughs> concerts. Um, but mm. um, the COVID pandemic made that not possible. Someday it will happen. And um, 
and we are going to be online again. That at least where I don't know where. At least where we live in the Minnesota and St. Louis County area, the um, COVID numbers are up again. So we're going to stay online and mm -hmm. do our winter concert from here with these same platforms on December nineteenth. So our winter solstice. Mm -hmm. December night, so, is that, what day of the week is that? Is that a, well, anyway, you fit, December the 19th. Not sure. Um, seven o'clock Central Time. <clears throat> and both on Facebook again. Uh oh. <coughs> <coughs> and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Bring your own candles. Yeah, bring your own candles. Yeah. They can so. be LED. And maybe next December we can tour. So if you want us to come to your locale with that concert my mm -hmm. vision is the month start getting everybody vaccinated yeah or keep not start yeah 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 <laughs> all right oh it's a sunday december 19th at 7 mm. thank you sarah greer thank you you're so good sarah all right hmm. what are we doing oh we're closing uh, yeah so thanks all um, for being thank here thank you everybody for coming tonight we're gonna sing you send you off with one last song and um just grateful, grateful for all of you, grateful to share in song again, because it's, again, it's been since last May. Yeah. Took the summer did, off. Uh, we took, took the summer food. off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to sing for you this song by my good friend Maggie Wheeler to send you all off. So thank you, Maggie, for the song, and thank you all for coming tonight. What is there to do when so much time is through? What do I have left that I can give to you? What is there to do when so much time is through? Maybe I can sing for you. Oh, let me sing for you. Oh, let me sing. comes and no one is around and the beating of your heart is the only sound when even in your house you're searching for your home and even though you're loved you're feeling alone maybe I can see See
sing for you. Thank you. Gratitude Thank you to you all. Everybody for tuning in tonight. Give you a, a little moment to say any farewells in the chat. Farewell. Auf Wiedersehen and goodbye. Adieu. Anyway. Adieu. <laughs> to you and you and you. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice to see you. Yeah. Good to see you all tonight. And tune in December 19th. Um, my homepage, sarahthompson.com, might be updated. It will be updated. So, I mean, it, it was updated for tonight. We gave the date. So mm. we'll get it updated for December 19th. But, um, yeah, thanks, everybody, for coming. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fun to see. Okay, what's happening? <laughs> Fun to see what's happening. Mm. Hi. So now it's kind of like we're mm. hanging backstage, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. The afterglow. Good night. Good night. Good. Good night. Um. Swoon. Hey. Hey, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Tim and uh, Gary. Um, Karen. Susan. Gail. Sweet Susan, Lisa. Tim. <laughs> Julie, Julie Corliss. Corliss. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Mary. <laughs> All right. Can you save that? Okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, we, okay. we hit end the... Um, it's dinner time. And the people Living. are hungry. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye. We're going we're gonna to end it. <laughs>